Hello, my loves. So I am in the car, literally pulled over at a P-A-R-K Christians in the back. So I had to spell that word because he knows where we are and he wants to get out. But I only pulled over to make this video because I'm really annoyed. And it is four o'clock and the sun goes down in like 20 to 30 minutes. And I'm on my way to go get us dinner and to get myself some protein powder. But I really want to get this video up. Let me give you a background story. I was reached out to buy a company. They do clothing, fashion. They are in China and they said that they would do a collaboration with me. They would send me some articles of clothing for me to do a review on my channel. They weren't going to pay me. It was just free clothing. And they gave me a link to their website, supposedly, that I could choose. They said six items from. I looked at their website. I chose six items that I thought I would like, that I could style, and that you would like. And that's the most important thing. So I reached back out to them and I sent them the six items. I was like, these are the items that I would like that I will do a review for. And they said, oh no, we don't have those items in stock. We need you to pick from this link. And it was a link to a specific list of clothing on their website. It was just like justfashionnow.com backslash Christmas, something like that. The company is justfashionnow.com, by the way don't ever use them. I looked on it and I was like, this stuff is hideous. It was ugly sweaters, Christmas t-shirts. You could tell they were really thin, ugly Christmas socks, like that um, fair aisle print, but like not cute. None of it was cute. You wouldn't like it. I wouldn't wear it. So I'm not going to share it with you just to share it with you to promote a company. You know what I mean? Whether they pay me or not, I share things that I truly use and believe in, or I am not going to leave any type of review for somebody. If they send me something for free and I don't like it, I'm going to tell you, I don't like it. Don't waste your money. Even if they pay me or send me an affiliate link, I don't care. I'm not doing you guys a disservice. So they reach back out and they send me this list and I sent back to them. I'm like, I can't promote this to my family and friends on YouTube because they're not going to like this I can't find anything in here that I can use that I would wear that they would wear I would go if you want to send me this stuff that I already said that I liked that I found on the same website that was like Christmas I just clicked the home page and then I went from there so they said well we could do a video with you but none of those items are in stock which I should have known I should have thought at least was a red flag but I was like okay so she sends me back a link you can choose from this stuff Again, it was all awful. I sent her back other items still on their website, just different. And she didn't tell me which items were out of stock. She just said four out of the six you sent were out of stock. So I sent two in the last batch that I sent because there was a really pretty houndstooth blazer with these gold buttons with a pearl in the middle. Probably looks nothing like it, but I loved it. And I was like, if this one is in stock, like that's my favorite. I could definitely style this for myself and for you guys and for Christmas, New Year's, work, everything. So she writes back and she's like, none of those are in stock. Should have been a red flag. It's on your website, your open website and your app, which I had downloaded in my phone, which was really hard to use by the way. And also what I thought was very strange was their sizing was very off. She says, I think now from the clothes that you sent, I kind of can tell what your style's like. Can I pick out six items and I'll send them to you for approval and you let me know. So she picked out, she sent me seven and she said you could pick six of these seven. So six were... I liked enough. And then the seventh was like a denim blazer, kind of like Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake Halloween costume way back in the day, early 2000s. I'll put the picture up there. Or people maybe make it a Halloween costume. Maybe they wore it for real back then. I don't remember. Wasn't a fan. So I said, you could send me the first six. The seventh, with that blazer, isn't. I'm not a fan. So she said, okay send me your address, did that, took like two weeks for me to get the package. I considered that normal. I expected it to be longer. It was fine. Go to pick up this huge package. I was so excited. Bring it home, set up my camera. They asked me to do an unboxing. That's all they asked me to do, but I was going to take it one step further because that's not fun for you guys. You have to see them on. So I was going to unbox, try the clothes on, give you a review, and then style them a few different ways for you guys because that's fun for me too. So I'm unboxing and I open the first one and I'm like, oh, there's like a chemical feel on these, but I'll just wash it. That's okay for now. Things were not like they looked, you know, what I ordered versus what I got. Most of them looked not like what they look like on the website. The sizing was weird. Everything was a size small, but some things were ridiculously oversized that I looked like a clown. And then other things fit, but not right short sleeves. If I buttoned, it was just tight on the, the bottom, like the butt part, just not right. Inconsistent sizing, very, very thin, 
one item was like a fleece with a lining and it was pretty once I put it on and tried to style it but the fleece itself was see-through and so thin and everything again had like a funny feeling like a chemical feeling on it still trying to remain positive still trying to see the best in this seeing the potential in styling this stuff up for you guys and myself I'm like trying to stay positive and I figured okay I'm gonna get this video done I'll open everything I'll show you guys everything I'll try everything on I'll throw it all in the washing machine I'll wash it let it dry and then I'll style it for you guys get that like chemical feel like a very very strong chemical feeling is the only way I could describe it dusty and chemically if that makes sense and at that point I shut off the camera Christian and I both started coughing I took note it's weird my eyes like my I feel like I got punched in the eyes right now that was weird but threw it in the wash figured I would just wash off the coating that was on there washed my hands because I was touching all those chemicals it is now an hour later the wash was done I pulled the stuff out of the wash it still had the chemical feel a little bit better because like the dust came off I guess some of the chemical came off but not all of it I hung everything up within maybe 10 minutes my fingers here look at my fingers my fingers are burning the tips of my fingers are wrinkly like an old man like I've been in the pool or water for too long I did not do anything I put the clothes in the wash I took them out of the wash and I hung them up so it's not like my fingers have been sitting in water I haven't been doing dishes the tips of my fingers are red and burnt and wrinkly and like especially these because I was you see the red I was holding them like this the clothing and these it's these three fingers on each hand that are so I think I have literally chemical burns on there what the f so usually when I get clothes and I collaborate with a company, if I don't love the clothes enough to keep them for myself, and I have to love, love clothes because I have enough clothes and I want to share. So first thing I will do is I will take a picture of the clothes and I will send them to my sisters and I'll say, does anybody want this? I got it as a thank you collaboration with a company. Now, if my sisters don't want them, which every single, single time so far, they say, no, thank you. Appreciate it. But like, don't waste your money. It's mailing them. I will donate them to homeless women or Adam's doing like a dress for success with the women that he's getting jobs through his staffing agency rise together staffing in Las Vegas by the way I feel this tug in my heart right now because I'm like it's still clothes and they still can work for some women it's like better than having nothing but is it I have chemical burns on my hands you guys so unfortunately these are going in the dumpster how sad is that I will block this email again the website is just fashion now they also have an app that has since been removed from my phone do not buy from this company I feel like it's a scam I feel like their clothes are laden with all kinds of chemicals they don't look like what they look like on the website everything just feels really flimsy thin poorly made any buttons on there are the cheap wood look button but not really wood they're just it's just bad you guys it's bad quality and again I could look past bad quality if they weren't laden with chemicals but no 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 and I should honestly I should have known by the path the clothes that are being offered on the website being out of stock also I went on YouTube because I'm like let me look at reviews of this company which from now on I will do every single time when somebody asks me if they want to collaborate which I should have been doing all along I don't know why I didn't think about this but look at the reviews prior to even responding to the email so let me tell you when I get these requests I respond to probably one out of every 10 because a lot of them are one things that you guys aren't gonna like so even if they're offering to pay me what's the point two things that are just bogus or they look cheap three it just doesn't align with me my morals my ethics my brand so those are the reasons I'll just either say thanks thanks but no thanks or I'll just delete the email if it just looks fake like for example gaming emails the company is legit but I don't game so I can't even give you a good review I know nothing about gaming so I can't be like yeah you play this game it's wonderful because I know nothing so those are just like thanks but no thanks the ones that are legitimate it just doesn't align or you could tell if it's spam they'll have a what's up what's app number instead of an email address to respond to they're written in very broken English so those kind of things you have to weed through but just now fashion or just fashion now or whatever the hell it is 
that's gonna be a no for me and it should be a no from you. Don't okay. shop there. I'm at the other parking lot, but I totally forgot to add this part and I got distracted talking about the kinds of companies that reach out to me and when I respond and when I don't. But what I was trying to say was I went on YouTube and looked at reviews from people who either were being sponsored, like same thing, same situation, and they got the stuff and it was awful or even worse, people who tried to purchase stuff and their package never came and then they reached out to the company like, the package never came and first they got a response that was like oh we'll give you a credit just buy something else on the website and she's like no I want my money or she was like no just send me what I ordered that's the only thing I like and they sent her a bogus tracking link that went nowhere do not use this company Ugh. I just feel bad that I have to throw away clothes but also as I'm sitting here my fingers are itching the crap out of me so that's not cool. I thought I was gonna be doing a fashion video with these clothes, but that's okay because I'm still gonna do a clothing video for you guys with some stuff that I have in my closet. I have some stuff that I got at Walmart that I wanted to show you guys really good finds recently. Some stuff on clearance, like a $7 gorgeous sweater, a pair of jeans for like $15 that I've been dying to find a pair of jeans with a wider leg. These don't give you a saggy butt, which I can't stand. So that kind of stuff. And then I also will shop my closet because you guys loved the summer one. So we're going to do one for the winter without just now fashion. Goodbye. See you later. No, never again. I love you guys so much. I will see you with that video very soon. Mwah.